early identification of developmental delays is important for access to early intervention and early childhood special education. Development occurs rapidly in the first few years of life, and early identification of developmental delays allows us to take advantage of this rapid brain development. A wait-and-see approach is not recommended because detecting developmental delays early can reduce or eliminate the need for future services and supports. Parents, caregivers, and even professionals may have concerns about a child's developmental trajectory. There are a variety of resources available to help determine if a child's development is on track, including the Developmental Milestones Checklist from the Centers for Disease Control. Many of these resources can be found on Minnesota's Help Me Grow website. When there are concerns about a child's development, anyone can make a referral for a free screening at helpmegrow.org. Referrals can be made for concerns in any area of development, and families can make referrals in a variety of languages. CAPTA, the Child Abuse Protection and Treatment Act, requires referrals for children from birth to age three who have had a substantiated case of abuse or neglect. Referrals should always be made in collaboration with the family. Once a referral is made, a screening can take place to determine if there's a need for a full evaluation. When concerns are noted during the screening, a full developmental evaluation is conducted through a team approach which includes professionals working alongside the parent or other guardians. The evaluation helps determine if the child is eligible for early intervention or early childhood special education services. Evaluations are free regardless of income level or immigration status. If a child is determined to be eligible for services, caregivers and providers will collaborate to develop an individualized family service plan for children birth to age three or an individualized education plan for children three years and older. The plan will indicate the services the child is eligible to receive. Except in cases of a court mandate, parents and other guardians have the right to accept or refuse services. If a family refuses services, or a child is not eligible for services, child welfare workers can collaborate with the family to seek out other services and supports that may be beneficial to them. Help Me Connect Minnesota offers a wealth of resources families may be interested in, including early childhood family education, home visiting programs, and private therapy. Services and supports like these can be accessed in addition to early intervention and early childhood special education. Child welfare workers can play an important role in supporting early childhood development by connecting children and their caregivers to the services and supports they need. For further information, please visit Help Me Grow and Help Me Connect.